I remember John bringing it to me uh, at his house and me going, yeah, actually, I, I think my memory is I wanted to change the second chord of the song and, and uh, he and Doc both said, no, no, it's good the way it is and that's how it stayed. At the time I wanted to change it, but then um, we had that opening and, and uh, the riff, which uh, I think John, John said to me, it should have a, a, a guitar melody over these chords. I had something a little similar, but Rick came up with that wonderful, uh, that, you know, da, 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 da. that's a lovely riff, you know. The thing is, you know, riffs like that, you know, in, instantly are recognisable to people who, who know them, I suppose, who know the song. But uh, well, after the rain, I wrote the music to that at uh, an old, uh, the old Car Hotel in Melbourne, which was uh, uh, kind of a bit similar to Wallaringa Mansion's Cockroach Castle. Uh, but that's where we used to stay. Uh, it cost us, you know, it was very cheap. And uh, I, so I wrote the music there in, um, in the hotel room. And uh, the lyrics were inspired by, uh, it's a, not a very nice subject, but they were inspired by watching a special on the Holocaust. Um, and so if you, if, you know, without explaining the lyric, I think if you listen to the song, you can kind of see why that special uh, impacted me so much. And, and basically that's what the song's about. Um, uh, but in terms of the music, uh, I had something similar in the beginning, but Rick came up with a wonderful riff that, that uh, so defines the song, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny, we're talking about how you write songs and what they mean and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, we never really think too much about that. They just, they just come out, you know, either come out really well or not. Um, but I think the environment is very important. For, you, for me, just speaking for myself, write, writing lyrics in those days and today, um, it would very often start with an empty slate and I, it would just be a line. Someone might say something like, oh, okay, that sparks an idea, or I'd read a line in a book or a magazine, uh, just a phrase, and that would be enough to trigger and then I start going through my, my uh, notebooks where I had all sorts of rhyming couplets and phrases and whatever and just start putting together an idea. I, I, I very rarely would start with a complete idea. It'd just be one small thing, one, one spark of inspiration that would trigger the whole thing and after that, it's hard slog. i